What, you're, what are you doing here? Why did you buy this place? Well, this is the Team Dominator headquarters now. These are our armored vehicles that we use to storm chase, and uh, they were based in Norman. And we've returned to Norman again, and we're trying to get the vehicles back up and running. And these are what we, we use for tornado research. So we launched rockets from the roof of the Dominator 3. We launched miniaturized sensors into tornadoes. We provide warning as well, awareness. That one was actually working for Channel 4. Uh, KFOR back in the day, that's Dominator 2, uh, but we're starting to get all three Dominators back out on the road uh, starting this year because we expect an active tornado season here in Tornado Alley. Where did you store these before? Uh, these were stored, uh, Dominator 1 and 2 were kept outside for a couple of years. Dominator 3 was based up in Canada for the last several years and it just came back home last year and we got it inside of a tornado up in Nebraska, up in Spalding, Nebraska, the first direct intercept in years. And we measured about a 70 millibar pressure drop in less than a second and it caused some concussion-like symptoms too just because it was such a dramatic pressure fall. Uh, but that's what we're doing now is repairing some of the damage that we sustained inside of that tornado to Dominator 3. This is a silly question, but I don't, I don't know any other way to ask it. These cars don't need protection from the elements, so why warehouse them? Yeah, they're, I mean, we definitely want to warehouse them just because if they're kept outside, they will gradually deteriorate. So we want to have, have them in a climate controlled building during the off season because during the, the tornado season, they're inside big hail, softball size hail, they're inside tornadoes, the most extreme conditions anywhere on the planet. And we definitely do want to work on them too in the off season. We have some repairs that we have to do. But yeah, the whole concept of the vehicles is that they have armor on the outside, basically bullet resistant armor. They're aerodynamic and the whole goal is that it allows us to get safely up close if not inside of tornadoes to measure data that other people aren't willing to collect and you have other you have equipment sensitive equipment that's in them yeah which you don't want sitting out in the pasture or oh, yeah, your backyard they, or whatever right yeah the dominators have the latest technology and uh they have a, a lot of computer systems in there too a lot of sensors and we don't want those sitting outside of course so this is their home here in oklahoma and we have them all back in one room finally and we're getting them ready for an active tornado season. We have an El Nino going in the Pacific. We have a warm North Pacific as well. So we think that the Southern Plains are going to come alive in a big way this spring. Oh, how many, how many employees do you have? Well, we don't have any employees uh, here at Team Dominator. We have a lot of contractors that help okay. out and everything too. So we do have a team of about five to 10 people. We have production people as well. Uh, we have someone that designs our sensors. Uh, we have mechanics as well. Curtis Brooks is the engineer of the Dominator and he came down from Canada to work on that. Uh, we also have drivers and other storm chasers, but we are a rapidly growing operation here at Team Dominator as well. Uh, I want to talk to you about the movies Twister. Yeah. The first Twister and then the new one that's coming out this summer. How old were you when Twister came out and what did it, did it mean anything to you? Funny or, or serious? Yeah, Twister came out uh, when I was 17 years old. So I was well on my way to becoming a storm chaser. I was already committed to the University of Oklahoma and I wanted to be a storm chaser since I was about five years old. Uh, I wanted to study the science of weather too and kind of grew up a science nerd. You know, I was in Science Olympiad in high school and I'm big into the science of weather meteorology and that's what brought me down to Oklahoma from Michigan and I studied at the University of Oklahoma for 17 years uh, to be a meteorologist. I went to grad school here and everything too. So that's what really led me down to Oklahoma. Uh, but growing up in Michigan, I uh, definitely did have a lot of snowstorms up there too. Uh, but that's what led me on a path to come down here, the tornadoes, the severe weather, and my passion for, for storm chasing. So you're from Michigan? Yep, and definitely the movie Twister came out when I was a senior in high school, mm. and that only intensified things further. I love the movie, I love its depiction of storm chasing, and we've got a second version of the movie Twister coming out this summer too, and I imagine that that'll probably only put a, a bigger spotlight on storm chasing and also our, our beautiful state of Oklahoma. Did you have anything to do with the second movie? I did storm chase with the writer for the second movie before and helped out a little bit with the concept and about a year before production, I definitely spent a lot of time with him. Mark Smith uh, is his name and, and he wrote the script and I uh, didn't have anything to do with the production. Uh, the original director that they had, Joseph Kosinski, I was talking to him a lot. They were going to use real tornadoes in the shooting of it, but I think that they decided to go a different direction and use all uh, computer generated graphics. 
uh, for, for, for the tornadoes with the new director. But I had a lot to do with the writing and helped out with that process. And it was definitely an honor to, to help out with that. But during the filming of the movie Twister, we were out there doing the real thing, intercepting tornadoes and whatnot. And so I, I didn't have much to do uh, with that portion. Cool. What's your hometown? I grew up, I was born in Grand Rapids, but I consider my hometown Norman, Oklahoma. So I came down here when I was 18, uh, went to school for almost 20 years at the University yeah. of Oklahoma. So I definitely cool. consider Norman, Oklahoma, my hometown. Cool. Anything to add? And this is about this space. I mean, again, it's not, but it is, you know, yeah. it's a real estate story, but yeah. it's not. It's, it's about you and your cars and the spring and it's about yeah. everything, but oh, anything yeah. to add? Yeah, this is our storm chasing headquarters here, Team Dominator. We're happy to be back in Oklahoma, and we have a lot more space too. We're maybe going to build some more Dominators, but this gives us, us an opportunity to really hone our science mission and do the field science. And that's what these vehicles were intended for, to get inside tornadoes and measure data that other people cannot safely collect. So honored to be back here in Oklahoma in this beautiful space here. And it uh, feels great to be working on the Dominators getting ready for storm season. 